Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Kalenberger model 1000U uh, that we brought into our shop here and we did some extensive maintenance on it. Uh, we replaced some bearings and some seals and some belts and overall gave the machine a good cleaning and a tune-up and of course we painted it. So uh, currently wired uh, for 220 volts, 230 volts, uh, three phase. Uh, this machine has riser blocks, factory riser blocks underneath all the components, the major components. The exact height uh, is listed in our website. Uh, this being a U machine, that means that when we rotate the grinding head in the back of it, there's an ID spindle. Uh, you have special settings here to use in ID grinding as opposed to external grinding. Uh, you have a rapid in and out of the wheel slide and you want to be careful with that uh, when you're ID grinding. So that's why they have uh, special settings. <clears throat> here we're in a plunge grinding mode right now. That feed can be controlled by this knob here. I can also stop it here or increase the speed with this here. This here is a lock for the wheel if you needed to lock it down in a certain position uh, you could do that with this knob on the right. Uh, also there's a fine feed uh, for your in feed amount when you get to zero if the size is wrong you can make a fine uh, adjustment of size. Over here you have a lever where you can engage a different ratio, uh, a course ratio for moving your slide by hand in and out and also the, stand, the normal uh, for working speeds. Over here you have an emergency stop, you have your uh, speed for your work head, your revolutions per minute, your RPM, and over here you have your switch for turning on your spark out or not using the spark out, <clears throat> or if you had an in-process gauge, uh, there'd be a setting here for it. So, uh, in the automatic cycle, if we put the spark out on, when this gets down to zero, there'll be a certain amount of time depending on what you set your spark out time on over here. And this will get down to zero, we'll come to a stop, and we're going to kick out here. The wheel head goes back, the work head shuts off. Uh, we also have a traverse grinding cycle. We have our table going back and forth. Each time we hit the lever on the side, we're going to feed. The amount of that feed is again adjusted with this knob over here. We can speed the table up. Or slow it down. And that will continue doing that down to zero and then uh, at the right point it re will retract. Up here is your dead stop. It's mounted up there for your, so you can go around several times and then uh, when you find the one you want it, you can engage your stop pin. Have uh, a taper adjustment for your table here with the dial indicator. Um, got a jog button here for your work head. This is a live and dead spindle. In other words, you could put a chuck in there or a face plate or you can uh, grind between centers with a lock spindle just rotating the driver. We've got a swing back type uh, micrometer adjustable dresser for dressing the grinding wheel. We've got a cooling system here, a splash guard that goes in the front. On the floor there are the three uh, leveling pads. One goes in the back and two go in the front. On the table over here we've got a three jaw chuck I believe it's about eight inches and a magnetic chuck. We've got some kind of a radius dresser here. We've got a full set of documentations, all your electrical diagrams, uh, another simple type of dresser, a uh, set of dogs, a balancing arbor for the grinding main grinding wheel, and a balancing arbor for if you were going to use the face grinding attachment, um, which we don't have on this particular machine but I guess that could be, uh, that could be available. Um, this is a guard for the chuck. 
and uh, that's pretty much what we got on the table there. So that's the Kellenberger uh, 1000U cylindrical grinder. Thank you.